George explores the grain chain with support from farmers and millers across the UK. Hi, I'm picking up some supplies at the supermarket today because I've got a great recipe to try out later. I don't mind food shopping because, well, I love food, whether it's a supermarket or local market. Buying good food is really important because what we choose determines how healthy we are or how healthy we aren't. There's a few main food groups and they all do different things. Think of them as superheroes, each with their own special power. Come on, I'll introduce you. It's carbohydrates, giving you energy. Loads of carbohydrates come from grain, as well as from starchy veg like potatoes. Bread and cereal are good sources of carbohydrates, and that's why they're good for breakfast. They release energy slowly across the day to help get you going. Who's our next superhero? Make way for protein, packed with the power to help your body grow and repair itself. Now most proteins are found in things like meat, eggs and fish. But there's a bit of protein in bread too. Watch out, here comes superhero number three. It's the phenomenal fats, giving you energy and providing insulation for the body. Yep, a small amount of fat is part of a healthy diet. Though it's better for you if they're from things like oily fish and nuts rather than a big pile of cream cakes. If you're about to do a lot of exercise, you should steer clear of a fatty snack. They're hard to digest and will make you feel a bit sluggish. Watch out, here comes another superhero. It's Daring Dazzling Dairy. Milk and yogurts are great for minerals like calcium. They're an important part of the mix, and especially for your bones and teeth. Watch out, here's our final hero. It's the fruit and vegetable. You might have heard of having five a day, but you can eat loads more than that. Fruit and veg are packed with vitamins, minerals and fibre, and loads of other helpful things. I better take all this lot to the till. Now if you're eating from all the superhero food groups and you're drinking plenty of water, you'll be getting all the vitamins and minerals you need. Right, let's get back to the kitchen. Check out these rolls. I can't wait for these to cool. I've had a crack at making some buttery rowies. They're made with lots of butter and yeast, and they're very crisp and crumbly and really tasty, a bit like a croissant. But these aren't French, they're from Aberdeen. Yep, yeah, from right here in the UK, although you don't see them as much outside of Scotland. So snap them up if you see them in a bakery and give them a try for yourself. Delicious. See you next time. George explores the grain chain with support from farmers and millers across the UK.